Obviously, we are all excited about the Mario movie as it's arriving soon on April 7th, and we just keep getting more posters and trailers, it's really getting exciting, but with the Mario movie coming soon, I still can't help but think about the future, and how big this movie is going to be for the future of Nintendo films. And I want to dig a little bit deeper into the Mario universe, because I think there's some hints and easter eggs at Nintendo possibly going with a spinoff with one of the characters in this movie. And today, I'm talking about Luigi, and you already know from the title where this is going, Luigi's Mansion getting its own movie would be awesome. I guess this is something out there that I want and a lot of people want, but it's more than just want. There's actually some hints that Nintendo has been dropping about this, and the cast as well. But it's not just hints, it could just be Easter eggs, of course, because Luigi is known for the whole Luigi's Mansion thing. Um, and maybe they're just throwing fans a bone with that. Or these things could be alluding to something a lot bigger. Allow me to explain some of them. So we just got a brand new Super Mario Brothers ad within the movie itself with Mario and Luigi, and they roll out a map of New York and show them going from Brooklyn to Queens showing that they can stretch far out in order to help people um, but in Queens you will notice a street to the left here called Mansion Street which is 100% a reference to Luigi's Mansion well, not 100% because there is a street actually called Mansion Street but I believe that this was placed here simply for the reference because there's also a lot of streets that are not included on this map next up we have a scene where Mario and Luigi specifically are holding their faces in the same way that Luigi does in the Luigi's Mansion box art I mean it's one one to one at least for Luigi and it's just something that's very interesting because it's just like yeah you know they're talking about the prices of their job is cheap you know you can afford it but at the same time it definitely is throwing a nod at Luigi's Mansion's box art. Next up is throughout this movie advertising so far, Luigi has been put in very scary situations, at least very dark and grim moments. I mean, even his poster shows him at night with the full moon in the background by Bowser's castle being carried away by minions, and he looks terrified. There is a very good chance that they're doing all of this on purpose. I mean, literally the very first time we've seen Luigi within the first debut trailer, we see Luigi running in a very dead, scary looking valley away from dry bones that are chasing him over lava pits and into the castle where he slams the door behind behind him which looks like it could be stripped out of its own Luigi's Mansion movie entirely. Look, I know Luigi's main role is being the scaredy brother, but at the same time I really feel like they're trying to tease a Luigi's Mansion spinoff eventually or maybe set it up in case this movie sells extremely well, which it will, then they can just run with the Luigi's Mansion movie next with Charlie Day. But speaking of the Luigi actor, Charlie Day was actually asked about this possibility and he says, yeah, my son was just playing Luigi's Mansion the other day on his Switch, look, I'm thrilled to get this opportunity. I grew up playing Super Mario Brothers as did everyone I know, so we'll see. It's like anything else in life. I'll go if I'm invited. So Charlie Day actually has a little bit of history even with the game with his kid that actually loves Luigi's Mansion 3 on the Switch and he watches him play it all the time, which is super cool to me. So I would love to see Charlie Day make a return in his own movie starring Luigi in Luigi's Mansion. But I want to go back to this Luigi poster one last time for one bit of information. We see Luigi holding a flashlight with dry bones in the background. But focus on that flashlight, because we never see Luigi ever holding a flashlight in any game besides Luigi's Mansion, which of course leads me to the official toys for the Super Mario Bros. movie, and the Luigi toy actually has Luigi holding a flashlight as well. And look, I'm just saying, this could already be giving Luigi a character specific for Luigi's Mansion and starting to build that world around him maybe towards the end of the movie or something. Man, I hope so. Or it could just be tools for their plumbing jobs, like Mario holding a plunger. Or maybe it's just like a build-up. Yeah, it starts as like a flashlight that Luigi uses in order to help with his plumbing routine, but at the same time, he uses it to also star in Luigi's Mansion. Like maybe it's the same flashlight. Maybe it's like a little story of origin there. That'd be cool. But let's just say Nintendo and Illumination got the green light to make this movie. How would a Luigi's Mansion movie work on the big screen? Well, first and foremost, I think they need to go with Luigi's Mansion 1. I know it's the first game and it just obviously makes sense, and I know how big Luigi's Mansion 3 is. I don't know if Luigi's Mansion 2 will ever get added, but Luigi's Mansion 1 and 3, I think it's what it's in between, because a lot of people have a lot of experience with Luigi's Mansion 3. A lot of the younger audience, people that never played the first game, is playing Luigi's Mansion 3 and absolutely loving it. And both of these games would work 
perfectly on a big screen. Because the characters are all fun and entertaining, and there's a lot of stuff that they could do with this. Let's just start off with Luigi's Mansion 1 real quick. Maybe it's the same story, pretty much. Maybe at the end of the Mario movie, they'll show Mario, Luigi, Toad, and Princess Peach looking out, and Mario saying, maybe we shouldn't go back home. Maybe we should stay here and help this kingdom and just live life here. And Luigi agrees, but they have to find somewhere to live, and Peach offers to build them a home until maybe there is a post credit scene where Mario gets that map in the mail to the mansion and it kind of just cuts off black that would be so cool just leaving people to speculate what's going to happen next and obviously we know it's going to lead to Mario getting kidnapped and Luigi finding that same invitation and leading him to the mansion to meet up with Egad where Egad helps Luigi in order to find his brother Mario by giving him the poltergeist and then you can have the same exact ghosts in that game appear in the movie and just give them more personality give them background give them a story and it's about Luigi going through this mansion taking out all of these different portrait ghosts which is this giant family and one thing that I loved about Luigi's Mansion 1 so much is that it was a family one interconnected family in this house doing their own things in their own rooms and Luigi comes to interrupt them and I would love to hear more background story and maybe add more character to all of these different portrait ghosts it would be a lot of fun a lot of them like to mess around and do mean things to Luigi and kind of heckle him and I can see that being incorporated within the actual movie perfectly. And then the ending would make even more sense because Luigi would come up to King Boo and King Boo uses the fear tactic in order to defeat Luigi by turning into the thing that Luigi fears most, which is Bowser. And now we know why he fears Bowser so much because it could tie into the movie. It's the first time he was kidnapped and taken to the Mushroom Kingdom. It's the first person he probably sees, which is Bowser. He's taken straight to him and he torches Luigi, pulling his mustache and doing all kinds of stuff to him to the point where King Boo uses that in order to scare him. And it's about Luigi kind of getting over that fear, defeating the robot Bowser and taking out King Boo. It would be a great story arc for Luigi. You know, after surviving everything that's happened with Bowser, now he gets to take out Bowser and release a robot one and even kill King Boo in order to save his brother. It'd be perfect. I'm not denying that the story to Luigi's Mansion 3 is also pretty cool. They all get invited to this giant hotel in order to stay and relax. And it's really cool that everyone's there. Mario, Luigi, Peach, the Toads and stuff. And it would kind of make sense. But then again, you got things like the Polter Pup, which aren't in the story yet. And you would have to explain that one. I think it would be cool eventually, maybe as a second movie. I'm sorry, I'm still skipping Dark Moon. I'm sure they could come up with the story for Dark Moon with all the different mansions and stuff. I'm not excluding it. I just know a lot of people are very familiar with Luigi's Mansion 3 right now. So I think this story is awesome. All of them going to this hotel and Luigi had to saving each of them one by one until getting to Mario at the very end is pretty cool. I just feel like it does feel like a Luigi's Mansion 3. There are already established characters with E, Gad, King Boo, even the Polter Pup. So I think this would make for a great story eventually, but I still think they need to stick with the original Luigi's Mansion 1 for the first movie. But guys, let me know in the comments down below, do you think we could get a Luigi's Mansion spin-off after the Mario movie? How exciting would that be? And what would you like to see added within the elements of that movie? Let me know in the comments down below and make sure you leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date on all things the Mario movie and Nintendo in general. And like always, I'll see you all on the next one. See you guys.